In this video, I'm going to show you the karaoke setup if you want to connect your monocaster light to a home theater which is connected to your TV. So this is the uh, player and uh, the uh, speakers are this one, that one over there, the one behind me and then the little one sit down there. Since this is a karaoke setup, of course, we will be using a condenser microphone. And now let's get started. And now let me show you the cords you will be needing in this setup. It's very, very simple. You pretty much need all this uh, three cords. So of course, so this one here is for XLR to 3.5 mm to connect to your uh, condenser microphone. So of course, uh, this comes when you buy a condenser microphone. So let's connect this one right away to here. So since this is a condenser microphone, there are two ports on here, this one. So just select either one of this one. So let's connect it to mic 2. And we will need this one here, the one that has two lines to RCA to 3.5 mm TRS to RCA. So you will need this one to connect from here to the player over there. So we will connect this 3.5 mm, the one that has two lines, to here, to the one that says output. And then the other two end, the RCA, we will connect to the uh, player down there. Again, 3.5 mm goes to the output uh, port of the monocaster light. Then the other two ends, the RCA. So this one here, we will connect to here. So we will only use the red and white port over there of course red to red and white to white and this is the aux in of this player as you can see this one here this are the uh, uh, cables or cords connected to the speakers that i showed you earlier and i believe this one is for the uh, subwoofer and let me show you the last cord over there and the last cord over here is the 3.5 mm TRS, the one that has two lines. So this one we will connect again from the monocaster light to the TV this time. So from here we will connect one end to here to the one that says music input. And then the other end we will connect to the headphone port from this TV. And from the back of this uh, TV, you will see something like this. So that's for the headphone. And then the port is just over there. So it says audio out. So that's where we will be connecting this uh, other end, uh, 3.5 mm TRS. And now we're all set. Let's now turn on this uh, player on here. Let's turn on the monocaster light. Okay, there you go. And now let's test the first uh, the uh, condenser microphone. And by the way, over here, you have to make sure that this player is set to aux in because as you recall, the RCA, the red and white cord is connected to the aux in of this player. So let's set it to aux. Okay, that's FM. Okay, there you go. So it says aux. Okay, and uh, now uh, from here, so just remember, if this is your setup, there won't be no audio if the monitor here is at zero. And of course, let's check also over here uh, how loud is uh, or what's the volume uh, from here. Okay, so that's number, maybe number 10. Okay, let's give it a try. Sound check, sound. Okay, let's uh, turn the monitor up from here. Sound, sound. Okay, maybe let's turn it up some more over here. There you go, I can hear it now. Sound, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, there you go, so it is now uh, connected. So the audio you're hearing right now is uh, coming, of course, uh, from this uh, player, uh, coming out to, to those speakers. Okay, so if you want to put some reverb on it or echo, of course, because this is for karaoke, then just put some echo on here by turning this volume slider up. Sound check, this thing, one, two, one, two, three, four, there you go, and you're pretty much ready for your karaoke songs. As you can see, I have set up already the song right there, so that is connected to YouTube, and again, you can do this one if your TV is 
is a smart TV. Or if you have a Chromecast, you can also. So as long as the song or karaoke song is coming from the TV, setup should be uh, something like this. Okay, let's try playing that. Uh, let's uh, check first how loud is our background music or karaoke song. Okay, so, and by the way, you can control the uh, background music from here and also the volume from, from uh, TV. Okay, so um, let's uh, start uh, playing that song over there on the TV. Okay, so it sounds like it's not that loud enough, so you can turn it up from here some more, or from the TV itself. Okay, there you go. Okay, maybe let's forward it a bit. Okay, there you go. Okay, so if you want it louder, you can, uh, you can turn the volume from the TV this time. And now you can start your karaoke party if you're having one at your home or wherever. Okay, and now let me give you a little sample. Okay, let's, uh, maybe I will lower my microphone over there. Sound check, sound testing. Let's, uh, let's pause it now. There you go. And uh, yeah, so the setup is uh, pretty simple as you can see. And uh, so if you want it more louder, so the main volume is over here from this player. So let me check. So right now we are at 21 and then the max volume is uh, 30 plus. So I'm not going to turn it up that loud because it will uh, feed back. And now let's say for example you are having a party at your home or wherever you can still use the sound effects on here of course so let's say for example if we're going to uh, uh, tap the cheering or something like that or applause or if you want to use the voice changer you can of course select the pitch uh, over here okay sound check testing one two or next one or the next one. So whatever you prefer, you can for sure use them. And if you want to use the auto tune on here, you can also by pressing this one here. Okay, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four, sound check, sound check, testing one, two. So there you go. Uh, anyway, whatever you prefer, uh, there should be some options here. So as you keep pressing that, your voices change. So it's like a robotic sound, I believe it's called auto-tune. And for your settings on here, it's up to you to check whatever is your preferred vocals. Low is more of a bass, so if it's, uh, uh, let's say the maximum volume for the bass is, uh, sounds like that, and then the low sounds like that. So this is, uh, the bass is zero, so as you can see, your voice is very thin. And if the bass is uh, the max, it sounds like that. And uh, the mid, it's up to you to test. So that this is the mid high maximum, and then the mid uh, low or the lowest. Okay, uh, let me just uh, maybe set it at one o'clock. And then the high is more of a treble. So uh, let's check the maximum for the the treble or high sound check testing one two. And then the minimum one or zero sounds like that sound check okay there you go and then the record volume knob here it doesn't matter because you are not uh, recording or you're not doing your live streaming anyway so this uh, record uh, volume knob here could be at zero however if you for example if you for example doing a karaoke party at your home and at the same time you want to record it okay let me show you how to do it so of course because we will be recording it or maybe you can go on live uh, the setup would be the same so make sure the record volume knob is high this time so let's turn it up and i will be using another cord this time to connect to the monocaster light 
So I will be using this uh, cord over here. So this is a 3.5 mm TRRS. This normally comes when you buy a monocaster light. So let me show you where to, to, to connect it. And now let me show you if you want to record your karaoke party at your home or wherever. Uh, let's say for example, we are going to record it from this uh, iPad on here. And this uh, setup should be the same if you go online or go live streaming on Facebook or wherever. So just select uh, which one on here, pad one, two, or three. Let's use uh, pad one. And then the other end, so again, TRRS. So same uh, on both ends. So TRRS, one end on here, let's say pad one. And then the other end, we will connect to this iPad. Just simply locate the, the uh, headphone jack of that uh, uh, device and it's just over here okay and uh, by the way just so you know I will only be using the built-in camera of that uh, iPad okay and now we're all set again how uh, to do a recording while you are doing a karaoke party at your home or wherever okay so as I mentioned I will only be using the built-in camera of this iPad uh, so right there and then of course set it to video and uh, towards me and uh, so let's uh, let's uh, record now from here and I'm going to start playing again the song Okay, let's uh, pause it over there. And I'm gonna stop also my recording over here. There you go. And now let's try to play the song I just recorded. Let's say you just uh, finished your karaoke party and then you want to uh, listen to your recorded song. Okay, let's go here, the one we just recorded. Okay, let's play it. And I'm going to start playing again the song. <laughs> And again, you can control if you want it more louder, then you can control by turning this volume up here from this player and from the monitor on here. So as you can see, it's not yet at the max. There you go. So as you can see, it did work. So you can do both. You can do a live streaming or record and at the same time doing a karaoke party at your home. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of videos, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.